Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a vlog. Yes, we're vlogging today. I am doing it. I am vlogging. It is happening. Welcome back to a vlog, friends. It has been a little bit since I have done this, and I do want to apologize for continuously over and over again this year. 2023 has been an interesting year where I've been trying new things and trying to balance things, but clearly that balance has been very off, and I do want to apologize for disappearing a few times, but also at the same time, I am really happy that I did this. Um, I have been doing something different, which if you guys do not know, I started a channel called The Board Game Garden and I've been doing board game content. Um, and it's just been a nice change for a little bit. I feel like I, I definitely burnt myself out of vlogging and doing like planting roses and stuff. And I've chatted about this before, but I do think that I, for like my mental stability needed a little bit of a break from this sort of thing. Even though like I've been continuing to do a similar thing, I'm not so much talking about my own life, but I am more so just talking about something else, which is board games. So it's been a nice uh, little change, but I have been happy and I have been wanting to vlog for the last few months, but honestly the last few months have gotten very, very busy solely because I have started doing a lot of like board game content and stuff and more and more I am kind of becoming intertwined in the board game industry and stuff and I've had a lot of amazing amazing opportunities come my way and it's just been so so much fun and I every time I wanted to vlog I just got busy and didn't have time to um, so yeah I do want to apologize but I am here Literally the like moment Halloween was over and little sparks of the holidays came into view. For some reason the holidays always really motivates me to vlog. It's just something about, you know, the memories and the nostalgia of uh, vlogging during Christmas and doing Vlogmas and stuff. It just makes me so, so happy and this time of year just makes me happy in general. So. Yes, I'm going to try to vlog a bit this holiday season and then moving into 2024, I do want to try to find a balance between uh, posting content here as well as posting content on the board game garden. I have been really missing doing this and sitting down and kind of vlogging my day-to-day -day life, so I'm gonna try to do it. I am definitely the type of person that I've discovered recently that I hyper fixate on things. Um, so my hyper fixation for you know, quite a long time was working on my small business and vlogging and that was definitely like a hyper fixation. And then I discovered the board games and the board game industry and that is currently my hyper fixation and hopefully I do not burn myself out. I'm really trying to uh, take some time for myself. I'm also taking some time to work on this whole board game thing. Um, like I said, I've definitely gotten some really awesome opportunities recently and it's just been a lot of fun um, connecting with people in the industry and stuff like that. I never thought like this would happen to me to be honest with you but here we are. We're kind of somewhat working in the board game industry which is crazy uh, but yes. Anyways this is going to be the first episode of Vlogmas. I am going to try to do Vlogmas a bit um, I'm not promising that I'm going to do a vlog every single day. I'm not promising uh, that I'm going to do even, you know, two vlogs. I'm just going to go into it trying. We're starting here and that's all I can promise. So I'm going to be decorating for Christmas today. It is November 21st today. So this was like the only day that I had like free that I like can actually do this. So I'm like, Jenna, you need to decorate for Christmas today or you're not going to be decorating until like, I don't even know, like the second week of December because I will be traveling in early December. I'm going to Philadelphia for PAX Unplugged, which is a board game convention. And then once I get back from that, um, honestly, it's pretty free after that, which is, which is nice. Um, but yes, I'm going to finish off my chicken dumplings here. I made some chicken dumplings for lunch and I put some just some soya sauce, some sesame seed oil, as well as, or just sesame oil, um, as well as some garlic. And I just pour that on top of some chicken dumplings. It's great. 
And yes, after we're finished with this, I will go get the Christmas decorations and we are going to get started with some Christmas decorating. I've missed you guys so much. Hopefully you are doing well. Uh, let me know how you are in the comments and welcome to Jenna Rose Vlogmas. Hopefully it'll happen. We're gonna start here and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's do it. Let's get into it. So I'm losing light because it's already a dreary day and it is, what time is it? Four o'clock. But I have all of my Christmas decor out on the Christmas, or not the Christmas, the Christmas table, um, the dining table. So this is all the decor. I feel like I had more decor, but maybe not. I think last year I actually like put a bunch of decor into a container that I didn't like and that I didn't want to use anymore. So. This is actually the stuff that I like, love, love. So we have all this here. And then we also have like cushions, uh, a larger piece of decor, 
cushions, the dog's bed, um, as well as a ton of pillows. I don't know why I have purchased so many Christmas pillows and Christmas blankets, but we're there. We also have a picture that Francis took at the Toronto Christmas Market. And then we also have Oath Sworn, which is a board game that was just delivered. Oh boy, huge ginormous board game. Um, also apologies if the quality of the video is not great, but like I said, it's a little bit dark, so I do have the exposure up a little bit, but yeah, let's start. I think I'm going to start with this part of the kitchen because I think it like these shelves here are my favorite thing to decorate for Christmas. So let's start with that and we'll do a little bit in here in the kitchen. Still do need to finish some dishes, which I currently have a load in here. And then once that's finished, I'm going to um, unload it, put in some more so that the kitchen is clean. Um, but yeah, this is an update on our, our kitchen now that we've had it for almost a year now. Um, we still have yet to do the backsplash. I'm hoping that is something that I can do possibly in early 2024. My goal is to maybe do it myself. We will see. I feel like I can do it. Um, but anyways, let's do these. Let's do it. Yep. I once said to Francis that I'm pretty sure Wonder Bars were the same thing as Butterfingers, and he didn't believe me until there was an article that said that, what was it, the Butterfinger is the less attractive cousin of the Wonder Bar? Yeah, and I remember liking Butterfingers more. I love both of them. So we are doing a taste test. What do we like better? So what's this one? I'm only gonna tell you. Just take a bite and then tell me what's better. So I think this one is a Butterfinger. Oh, hard. Flaky, crispy layers of deliciousness. Mmm. <laughs> this one feels like it's gonna mess up my teeth. I actually think I like the texture of the Butterfinger better. And we got the, oh my god, the lighting is so bad. There we go. Oh, that's just not good. This is the Wunderba. Wunderba! Mmm. This, this is the better one. I think that was just I just feel like the Butterfingers just get stuck in my teeth so much. Whereas the Wonder Bar is squishy, but still has that slight bit of crunch. Mmm. -hmm. All right. So I think I've decided the only thing that I'm going to do in the kitchen. Obviously, I have to replace this disgusting rag with a Christmas one, which I have over there. And of course, it's Buffalo Platt. You guys know how I feel about Buffalo Platt. Uh, but I also have this little Noel sign, which I love to use in the kitchen specifically because you can turn it on and it is this very pretty, I think these are called like marquee signs, possibly. But I just put it on the back of our stove and then you can actually turn off the lights, which I'll show you. And it looks so cozy. It looks so cozy, I love it. Even if you turn off like all of the lights. <sighs> So cute! I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that is that. We got our little marquee sign. And then, like I said, 
We also have classic buffalo plaid. Put that on the stove. But I'm very happy with this. And then also I need to change our dish soap here or our hand soap here. So I'm just changing it for a aromatherapy Bath and Body Works eucalyptus and spearmint soap. Boom. It's a green color, so I'm gonna use it because, you know, green, Christmas. So that's gonna go here, which I guess I should show you guys this. It's just a little thing by my sink. Oops, sorry, soap. So I have a little plant here, our hand soap, a little scrubby thing, and then also our dish soap, which I need to like clean off this little platter here. And also our dish soap here needs to be uh, filled, refilled, so.
finally finished sprucing up the Christmas tree, which always takes far too long. It actually doesn't take that long. It takes like 45 minutes, but it seems like a very long time because you're just doing the same thing over and over again. But yeah, it's looking beautiful. I have all the decorations here in this box, but I think I'm going to maybe do that another day. I think I'll do it on Thursday. My entire Wednesday tomorrow is filled up with board game shopping, but um, yes, I'm freaking obsessed with the way that our Christmas tree looks. Like I know there's that like really fancy TikTok famous or I don't even know, social media famous Christmas tree everyone's talking about. I think our Christmas tree is very pretty. It comes off really pretty on film. Uh, but we also have just a bunch of stuff that needs to go downstairs here. I did quickly decorate the entryway, which I guess I'll show you. I also have a wreath and a few things to put on our front door step area, but this is what this looks like. Honestly, our entryway, I don't really put too much effort into it. Also, we have this here. I don't think I'll put this here. We always have like the hand sanitizer there, but it always looks so bad. Maybe I'll like fill this with some like Christmas mints or something. It's so, like when we're running out the door and we don't want our breath to be stinky. That's a good thing. That's a good thing to do. You did mess up the couch, but it's Ta okay. Ta-da! Um, I still do need to decorate this up here, but this is gonna take a bit because I do wanna take our plant off. It's currently just like everywhere and I need to figure out maybe somewhere else to put it or just a different way to display it on this shelf. We will see what happens. It's also like dying right now, I'm pretty sure, because all the leaves are curling up, but I need to look to see what that means. Um, but I do also have the decorations here for that shelf. I like to put the little houses up and I decided to put this one on that shelf as well. Initially, I was gonna put this up on our kitchen shelf, but yes, our kitchen shelf is looking beautiful. Kitchen's looking beautiful. But anyways, I am going to finish off today and then I will pick up the vlog camera on Thursday again and I will continue doing a little bit of decorating. I do have a filming day for the board game garden on Thursday. I have a few videos that I wanna film, but I think I will have a little bit of time to do some decorating. So we'll finish up some of that during the day when I have some good lighting and then I will do some like B-roll and stuff. So that'll be nice, but it just feels really nice to have the Christmas tree up. I always love having our Christmas tree up because it just makes the whole house seem very warm. But yeah, I'm gonna head off to bed now and I will see you guys on Thursday.
just got a package in the mail and it's a very exciting one. It is a board game and it is a board game called Bark Avenue, which fun fact, Penny is actually in this board game. So if you ever see this board game, which it's just recently come out, I believe, uh, to retail. Um, but yeah, if you see this anywhere in the wild, definitely check it out because little Miss Penny is in this game, which is crazy. Oh my goodness, I need to open it and I will show you guys her card. Um, there's also some like deluxe components in this bag. Oh my goodness, let's do it. It's actually a lot, the box is uh, thinner than the prototype was. I actually covered this game. Um, I did like a Kickstarter preview for it when it was up on Kickstarter. Which if you guys are new to like board games and stuff, um, some publishers and like newer publishers and smaller publishers, um, they do Kickstarter campaigns in order to kind of feel out how many people are interested in their games and then also, you know, get the funds to be able to create games because the board game industry is not like the hugest industry and a lot of the publishers are smaller companies with a few people working for them and they, you know, don't have the money up front to like just full on make thousands of copies of games. So they choose to do Kickstarter and different like crowdfunding uh, platforms. There's also GameFound, which is a big one, um, Backer Kit as well. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. So basically in this game, you are a dog walker in New York and you're like walking dogs and trying to be the best dog walker. There's a bunch of like, oh, these are so nice. They're like double layered boards. They're little player boards. There's also, oh my goodness, these are so cute. Oh my God. Oh, they're so squishy. There are little poops in the game. So they're like squishy poops. Oh my God. And then there are two big ginormous stacks of dog cards. Shall we try to find Penny? I think we shall. And like all of the dogs are, like some of the dogs are actual people's dogs and then some of the dogs are like foster dogs. And honey, are you excited to maybe see your card in the game? Oh my goodness, Penny. Oh, Dexter. We have some uh, friends in the board game industry uh, named Monique and Naveen, and they have a little dog named Dexter. He's so stinking cute. All of like the backgrounds of the houses and stuff are, are different too. We've got Norbert, Tokyo. Oh, that's such a cute name for a dog. we got Buddy. Oh my God, this art is amazing. Kevin, Glitch, Daro, Emma. Emma's actually the dog of the two designers, uh, Mackenzie and Jonathan. We have Lily. Look, so cute. God. Oh, Penny's, or Francis is going through that deck real quick. We got Beasley. She's in there. She's in, there. She's in here. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh, Beasley is another dog, which is our friends, or my friends, I don't think Francis has ever met them before. But uh, Tyler and Elia, they have a dog named Beasley, which is kind of funny because that's my last name. Tegan, Charlie, Darwin, Ranger, uh, Pappy, that's cute. Evie, Monkey, oh my goodness. Uh, how do you pronounce that, Deuce? Deuce. Charlie, Coco, Archie, Hula. Oh, this is Meg's dog. I also have another friend named Meg. Uh, and Mifa. Mifa. No. Nochi. Or Noki. Noki. Bella. Albus. Oh, like Dumbledore. Rita. Ludwig. I already showed the squishy poop. Apollo. Bo. BMO. Boom. Mo. Mo. BMO. <laughs> ah, she's so cute! Penny, it looks just like you, baby girl. I'm gonna cry. She's so sweet. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. Oh, this dog's cute too. 
Mochi. Oh yeah. Mochi is cute. There's Pammy. <laughs> oh my god. She's a There's card Pammy. in the game. You can't do it too too close. There we go. Oh my goodness, sweet girl. Can I pick you up, baby? Girl, come here. So I wanna cute. I wanna see you. Babe, come back with the card. Well, her, hair, her ears are long again. You really should get her ears cut short again. He's <laughs> fair. <laughs> He's a good girl. That's you in the game. You're in a board game. Isn't that so exciting? You don't understand. Oh my goodness. You can be in everybody's board game. You're in every copy of Bark Avenue. Yeah, you're in every copy. <laughs> That's so exciting. That shows my parents. Walter, so cute. you're in a board game too, bud. You're in a board game too. Eventually we'll get another game called Wild Gardens, which uh, both Penny and Walt are in. And I'm also in. I'm like holding them on a card. It's very cute. I can't believe my tree has not even been decorated yet. I have the box here of all my decorations. I just haven't had the chance to decorate it, which kind of makes me sad. I have one decoration right here, and it's a little boat with reindeers and a Santa on it, and it says Boats and Bitches 2023, which is me, my friend Kat, and my friend Steph's little like board game group, friend group that we have now, and it is wonderful. Uh, anyways, hello friends. It has been a bit since I have done this, and funny story is I initially the beginning of this video, I thought I would be uploading. I was gonna go for Vlogmas. I was gonna upload this video on the 1st of December. That did not end up happening. It is now December 12th and I'm coming on here to end the vlog so that I can get this vlog up for you guys either today on December 12th or tomorrow, which is December 13th. And yeah, I wanted to quickly do one thing before we ended. Um, I have a FabFitFun advent calendar which is actually 12 days so i'm going to start it now which is december 12th and i'm going to go all the way to december 24th um so yeah it kind of worked out nicely apologies for me kind of doing this um weird i was going to start uploading on december 1st and then i was going to not so much like upload every single day like with typical vlogmas but i was going to upload here and there starting with december 1st decorating the house um hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that but that kind of ended up not working out so much. Um, I ended up getting too busy and this has been the only time that I've been able to actually sit down, film this outro, and then I'm going to try to edit this tonight to either get it up tonight or tomorrow. So yeah, apologies. My schedule uh, is a lot busier these days and I find it really hard to find time to do this. So um, when I started or when I thought about doing Vlogmas, I didn't really have a lot of like expectations. I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself to, you know, do Vlogmas fully. I just wanted to kind of start slowly uploading videos to this channel because I really do uh, miss like talking to the camera and just vlogging my everyday life. So yeah, apologies for this being a little bit later, but you guys probably didn't even know this was coming because I was the only one that was putting the expectations on myself. So anyways, without further ado, like I said, I have this ginormous FabFitFun calendar right here. It says cheers on the front with FabFitFun in that corner. And then it says holidays. So I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say holiday cheers. Um, it also on the side says FabFitFun 2023. A huge thank you to FabFitFun for sending this over. Then you also have all of the numbers. So exciting. So we are going to start this and I'm going to open number one, wherever number one is. It's right here. This is gonna be very difficult. This is a very awkward calendar, but this is number one. It's like a longer, oh my God. I've brought in the heavy duty scissors. There we go. Just needed a little pokey poke. Oh, that's why. First thing is Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cleansing Foam. Ooh, fun. Let's see what this looks like. I have been trying to 
work on my skincare. Um, my only thing is my skin does not really do well with new products. So I will maybe try to use this and just like slowly introduce it. Um, it is a cleanser and I typically, I try to get into doing like a really big skincare regimen. Um, but cause before that I pretty much just did what I'm doing now, which is just whenever I have a shower, I have like a cleanser in the shower, clean my face in the shower. That's that. Um, I try to like, you know, rinse my face at night, rinse my face in the morning. I don't put too much product on it. And then I do use, currently I'm using some sort of serum that's supposed to help with like scarring and stuff. I do have makeup on right now, but I have been struggling with some really bad like scarring and stuff specifically i don't know if you guys have ever noticed but within like the last year or two i've been having a lot of like redness around my like contour lines um and a lot of that is due to me unfortunately having the habit of skin picking which is not great um, i noticed i started doing that like towards the start of 2022 probably maybe even earlier than that but it was a really bad habit I'm trying not to do it as much these days, but it is like a, you know, I do it without noticing kind of thing. Um, but I am trying to clear up those um, scars and stuff with some serum that I'm using. Um, and then I also use just a little like CeraVe moisturizer and that's pretty much it. So yeah, we will see if I am able to introduce this into my skincare regimen. Laneige is a really nice, um, brand so we will see what happens. I'll let you guys know what I feel about it or what I think about it once I start using it um, and if I see any bad results, good results, I will let you know. But anyways, that was a good start to this advent calendar. I'm very excited to open all these things. I haven't had like an advent calendar advent calendar for a while. I think the only one that I've had in the past was the Nespresso advent calendar. And I think I might have gotten an advent calendar or two from different sticker shops in the past, but I don't think I've had like a, you know, like skincare, body care, makeup type of advent calendar for a long time. So yeah, and I'm a huge fan of FabFitFun regardless. Um, so I know that I'm going to enjoy this. Um, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's vlog. I will be um, within the next two weeks leading up to Christmas. I'm going to have a few more vlogs going up. I'm not going to be vlogging every single day. I think I'm gonna call this just like, I don't even know if it's gonna be Vlogmas. We'll see, but I just wanted to start slowly introducing vlogs onto this channel again because I miss it so, so much. I miss you guys so much. Hopefully you are doing well. Let me know down in the comments how you are doing. Um, and let's just chat down there because I have missed doing this. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I almost said if you'd like to join the garden because that's always what I say over on the board game garden. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in the next vlog.